All right, everyone, all right. So if you can hear my voice and if you can see my screen, please type one in the chat. If you're over on the IML TV side of things. If you can hear my voice and if you can see my screen, please type one in the chat. If you can hear my voice and if you can see my screen, please type one in the chat. Just doing a quick mic check here. Keep in mind, it's about a 20 second delay. All right. So if you can see my voice, I mean, if you can see my screen and hear my voice, please type one in the chat, guys. Please type one in the chat. I hope you got your notepads ready. Note takers are money makers. So what we're going to do in tonight's session is we're actually going to be providing all the training to you guys. So that way you have everything that you need to effectively use the system to trade binary options, also known as Forex options. All right, so I'm just gonna, once again, ask for a quick mic check. If you can hear my voice or see my screen, please type one in the chat. So you see this little Zoom thing over here, I'm basically projecting um, the, I, the pretty much the high frequency Forex TV session on over to IML TV as well, as I promised from last week. All right. So yes, we do have one in the chat. That's great. Kyle Martinez. Ha ha ha. We can see your voice. I mean, can you? <laughs> I hope my results are, are so good. You can actually start, you know, start really uh experiencing experiencing the impossible like seeing my voice right <laughs> and hearing my screen so we're gonna have fun guys listen if you haven't found a way to have fun while increasing your trading funds you are not doing it right so once again type one in the chat if you can hear my voice and see my screen i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna say that right this time just the case you know <laughs> let's get it i'm excited let's see let's let's look over on iml tv yes everyone can see me over on iml tv i'm happy Woo! i'm happy and i'm ready to go i am ready to go too bad this thing is also showing i'm trying hmm, let me see if i can uh kind of hide this it is a little annoying Let's see. Uh, okay. No. All right. All right. Let me just stop that. All right. So the reason why I'm using Zoom is once again because I'm projecting what I see here on high frequency FX TV over to IML TV. So that way everyone can be able to see what this is all about. And I've contacted the programmers, and uh, basically, um, they need to make sure that I have the same stream key. So that way, so that way everyone on IMO TV can effortlessly without me without me having to run this on run this on top last time. 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 On two different. Uh, so um, let's get to it. This is the way how I go about it. This is the way how I go about my trainings. And that simply let me get through the stuff and then we'll answer questions later. So once again, I want you to take notes, um, copious notes. I want you to learn with the intention to teach because I want to show you how to use these tools. Now we can all agree, we can all agree, okay, that it's a lot easier to dig for gold with tools than it would be to dig for gold with your bare hands, right? So over here, I'm going to teach you how to dig for digital gold. I'm going to teach you how to dig for digital gold, all right? And I hope that you're prepared for this knowledge. I know I get excited every time I have the chance to show this off and teach you how to adjust the settings, teach you how these strategies work, 
so you can have more effective use for this tool, okay? So let me give you a quick tour, all right, as to um, how to navigate around the system. And then we're gonna go through each of these scanners and we're going to show you, okay, all the secret sauce, basically, for each of these three scanners, okay? So once again, get ready to take copious notes. It is now 10.04 p.m. Now, if we happen to have people that are asking questions that were basically already answered because they opted in late, if you would be so kind and help answer those questions, that would be fantastic. That would be beautiful, all right? Just like this beautiful evening tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful people, okay? So uh, let's start off with the High Frequency Academy, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap over, and the cool thing about this is you could tap, or you can have six different tabs open for all this here. You could run a machine, a trading machine, basically 24-7. So that way, you could once again, dig for gold using this tool, okay? So the High Frequency Forex Academy, you're going to see, um, you're going to learn a lot of stuff here that is necessary for you to learn in order for you to earn on your own time. Now, Basically, we have academies that are separated by educators. And the bottom line is, all right, maybe the way I teach may not resonate with you, but the way how Evan or Daniel may teach may resonate with you. Or they may have certain strategies that work for them that I don't cover in my academy. Either or, you're going to have choices. And within the next upcoming weeks, Okay, we're going to have some more educators on board, a couple of awesome educators that some of you already know and love. So until it gets completed, I won't mention any names, but this will be an exciting thing, exciting thing. So we're going to have three more, okay, three more academies, okay, uh, that's pretty much, all right, coordinated by a certain IML TV educator, all right? So we're gonna have three different educators. They're gonna have their own academy, basically. And right now we have English and Spanish, okay? And in the future, because I've been masterminding like crazy, making connections and all that good stuff, in the future, we're gonna have multiple languages on this platform. So this is a platform that's built for you to grow. So now let me give you an inside look Okay, as to what, all right, you'll actually get. So let's just say when we click on my academy and we click on English, okay, you're gonna see there's gonna be a strip of video. So a lot like IML Academy, and listen, there's gonna be some stuff you're gonna relearn, but a lot of stuff that you relearn is gonna be more geared towards trading binary options, Forex options. Because at the end of the day, what we're doing, we're trading Forex, but in a different way, right? So over here, you know, you get some of the videos and how I break a lot of these things down. You would love it. I made sure I made the conscious decision to keep the videos short and sweet and straight to the point. You can always replay. All right. So you can rewatch and you can relearn. All right. And you get a whole different, you know, strip of videos according to its respective category. So right now we were just in English basic. So when we click the home button here, all right, you go right into the intermediate lessons, which you see me diving deep on what is Forex options, which is the same as binary options. Uh, it, it's also referred to as digital options, okay? Different platforms that are covered, you know, really, really helpful things, okay, that you could use as a guide, all right? Interfaces that are covered, how to trade American binary, a bunch of different stuff here, okay? And you can... Basically, again, rewatch, relearn, and review. Okay, I believe I missed out on advanced. Yes. So let me just click on advanced here. Okay, and you're going to get access to more videos in which I take a deep dive into specific strategies. And guess what? There's going to be more videos, all right, added regularly. I know on Stochastic alone, I put about five different strategies in this video. So this is rare that I have a video that's 10 minutes because most of them are, are pretty short, okay? And uh, you're going to love some of the stuff over here, such as Forex patterns. And the beautiful thing about trading binary options, also known as Forex options, 
is that we only need to be a micro pip, okay, in profit by the time expiration. That's really it. That is really it. Okay, so you're going to see uh, quite a few different things over here. And like I said, there's more videos to come. All right, so that way you can uh, use these videos to your absolute advantage. Then we have high frequency TV. You're obviously on it tonight. Now, if you're seeing this from IML TV, I'm going to give you, I'm just going to click onto high frequency Forex. You're going to see it's slightly different. You see the chat over to the left hand side. All right, the chat over to the left hand side, it looks a little more different, a little more state of the art. And there's certain buttons over here that brings you directly to the Telegram alerts for high frequency Forex. All right, this button over here, it brings you directly into the Forex group, okay, for high frequency Forex, okay? So um, I just clicked the button for some reason it didn't work, but it should be working uh, once I put in the request in for it to work. It was working the other day, uh, last week, no problem. So let's go on over to trade ideas. Now, this is where it gets just even more exciting because right over here on the trading ideas section, okay, on the trading ideas section, you're going to receive some manual trade alerts. So whenever I, whenever I take a look at the markets and I identify, okay, a nice trade setup, I am able to place a manual trade alert over to the left-hand side. Now, with the next few updates, these will be clickable. All right, these will be clickable over the next few updates. And you can use this interactive chart on the right-hand side, okay, to confirm our analysis. Now, you're going to learn how to do, how to mark up your charts like a pro. You're going to learn how to look for specific setups. And if you can confirm our analysis, all right, that coincides with the trade ideas that we put out there, well, guess what? You can feel free. You can have the peace of mind to take some of these trades that we're giving away. Okay, so uh, you see over here the button's working here. So if I click on the Facebook button, it'll bring you right to the IML High Frequency Forex Group, which uh, which we are going to be launching really soon. This content is available right now. Okay, <laughs> all right. So I guess I have to contact Stephen Hooley to make sure everything is running smoothly. Okay, and uh, let's go back over here. I'm gonna X this out. Okay, this should be alerts to the Telegram. Okay, so that works. So you can opt in to the Telegram alerts too. So once we start putting out manual trade alerts and whatnot, you're gonna be getting uh, a notice on Telegram that a manual trade idea has been put out. So all you have to do is log in, all right? So that way you can get the setup. Now let me X this out. Okay, and let's bring this right back to the high frequency FX station. This is what I call this home screen, basically. So we covered the Academy, we covered the TV stream, all right, which is a lot like IML TV, and we covered the power of trade ideas, all right? So when we get setups in or outside of our sessions that we wanna share as a manual trade alert, you can definitely click onto this and leave that screen running so you can get these alerts, all right? Now we're gonna get into the secret sauces. Now we're gonna get into the scanners, the simple scalper, pickpocket, and the web slinger scanners. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first start off with the simple scalper scanner. All right, so we're gonna open a new link here. Okay, let me get rid of, yeah, let me just get rid of one window here. All right, and there we have it. Now, what I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna break this down just like this, so that way you can have a really good understanding as to how to maximize, okay, your potential using this simple scalper scanner. First, what we're gonna do is I'm going to um, show you how to adjust your settings. All you have to do is click on each indicator to adjust the setting that you want. So for example, this is the 200 EMA. If you want to color it in, all you have to do is play around with it, right? Adjust the colors as you see fit. I like to use the color purple, all right? Because, <laughs> right, 
on the digital media background, when you mix the colors of blue and red, you get purple, okay? You get purple. So to me, purple is, is like a, a neutral color, all right, in this white theme background where I predominantly use red and blue, all right? So red and blue theme for the most part, blue for bullish candles, red for bearish candles. And basically, whenever you see blue anything, most likely if price is touching blue stuff um, or aligned with blue things, um, you know, most likely is multiple confirmations for buy. When price is touching the red bands and, you know, and it aligns with red things, right? They're basically confirmations for sell. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, continue going through these indicators and you're just going to adjust it like so. So on the, on the Bolger bands, I like to keep my middle Bolger band black, okay? Upper band red, lower band blue. If you want, you could color it in a little bit more. You could change the colors if you like, okay? Color it in a little bit more. Or you can do whatever it is you want, okay? And you can even take out the background, okay? You can even take out the background as well. Inputs, you could change them, but I leave them the same. So basically, what you see with these Bolger bands, all right, is that this is a moving average of 20. The middle band is a moving average of 20. And the standard deviation is set to uh, uh, is set to 2, okay? So we're going to click OK, right? And we're going to take a look at some of these other indicators. So we just adjusted the 200 EMA. We adjusted the Bolger bands, okay? And if you want, you click on the parabolic dots. Sorry, let me double click the background to close those other windows. You could click directly on these parabolic dots. And once again, you could color it in a little bit more. Whatever makes sense to you. You can even make the, the circles slightly bigger. You can even change it to a line or whatever it is you want to do. Okay. It could be crosses, set to crosses. But I like to keep it in circles. Okay. So there's very minimal adjusting that you need to do with these indicators. All right. And basically, that's how you adjust that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on the volume bars and I actually don't need the moving average on here. So I'm just gonna uncheck that and you can leave this, okay, as is or you could color it in however you see fit. I'm just gonna leave this as is for now, okay? And we're gonna move this right along, okay? So, we're going to double click the white background and it's going to open up these two indicator windows. So what you see over here, this is the stochastic. And what you see over here is the relative strength index. So let's first adjust the stochastic very slightly because it has my settings on it the way I want them. Okay. So number one, you're going to notice and you can snapshot this at any time or you can always replay this video at any time so that way you get it right, okay? So my inputs now are 511, all right? That way it looks like it's one line, okay? Now, the K percentage and D percentage is set to black, all right? So the lines, all right, is actually, is two lines, two different lines. But because of our input settings, it looks like one line, so I color these two black. That way it looks a lot like how I adjust the RSI. Now the upper band is red and the lower band is blue. So here's the lower band, here's the upper band, right? Red, blue. The same way how my Bolger bands are, all right? So the top band is red, the bottom band is blue. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply turn this into a solid line. This is literally the only adjustment that I need to do, okay, on the stochastic because the settings, my, my desired settings are already there, is already set to it, all right? Sooner or later, you wouldn't even have to adjust any of this except, you know, by choice, okay? And you could take out the background as well so it could stand out a little more, okay? So we're going to click OK, and there we go, all right? Everything is all set with the stochastic. Now, the last indicator is the R side. This is the relative strength index. So what I'm going to do is after adjusting all these settings, I'm going to explain the purpose of each of these indicators before we actually get into the strategy. 
and show you basically what to look for on the scanner. So let's double click on the R side, and here's another just minor adjustments needed here, okay, minor adjustments. For example, all I need to do is switch this over to a solid line, all right, switch the lower band to a solid line as well. I like to take out the background too. If you want to make this a little thicker so it can match the stochastic, you could do that too. Now, here's the important adjustment that I need you to make. So the programmers need to figure it out from the programming side how they could get into the computer coding and just change this to the settings that I need. So the upper band, okay, is going to be set to 75, okay? And the lower band is going to be set to 25, okay? Now the input is exactly how I need it, which is set to four, okay? So everyone got that? You could snapshot this if you like, okay? All right, for your learning purposes, okay? So I'm just gonna click okay right here, all right? Now I'm just gonna double click the background to close out these other indicator windows. And what we're gonna do is go over why, all right, do I use these indicators, okay? So I'll put it to you this way. We're first gonna start off with the Bollinger Bands, okay? Now it's important to note that 90% of price tends to stay between the top and the bottom Bollinger Band, 90% of the time, okay? 10% of, uh, of the time, all right, you will see that price will be outside of the Bollinger Band, usually, all right, for a temporary time, okay? Just 10% of the time, it is outside of the Bollinger Bands. Now, here's the basic use of the Bollinger Bands. If you see price, all right, touching the top band or the red band, okay, you can expect a reversal. When price, okay, is touching the blue band and it pierces it, okay, all right, you can expect a reversal. Now, whenever you do see a pierce, all right, like notice how, how it broke the bottom of the band temporarily. Over here, it broke the bottom, uh, broke the top of the band temporarily. You can see the wick right there. Those are the strongest indications for potential reversals, the strongest indications. So the way I want you to look at this, I want you to look at each of these bands like if they're a rubber band, right? Price comes up here and it snaps down. Price comes over here and it snaps up. I want you to look at it like rubber bands, okay? Now, there is a 50% rule to this, okay? So if price touch the bottom band, most likely it's gonna end up coming up to touch the middle band at the very minimum, okay? In some cases, it'll go all the way across to the top, okay? Same thing if price, you know, start over here, okay? It snapped down, most likely it's definitely gonna touch the middle band, okay? And in some cases, it'll go all the way across, okay? So I want you to look at these bands like it's a rubber bands, and there's a 50% rule. So look at this black line as like a wall, okay? It's like a wall. Sometimes price will go through the wall. Sometimes, it, sometimes it'll just hit the wall and respect it. Now, while it is trending, you will notice, all right, like for example, let's take uh, these two examples over here. I think these two are great examples. So notice over here during a downtrend, Look at this here, during a downtrend, you will notice that price is in the bottom half of the bands. Do you see that? That's how you know it's a strong downtrend because price is sliding in the bottom half of the bands. Now, during a downtrend, this middle band serves as like an extra layer of resistance. All right, so notice how it, it tried this and then it ended up coming down, right? So during the downtrend, the middle band serves as like a resistance. Price stays between the bottom half of the bands. During an uptrend, and you can see over here, it's, just, it's slightly, it's a slight uptrend. But you can see that during this uptrend here, price tends to stay in the top half of the bands instead. And the middle band serves as like a support. Okay? So you can see that really, really, really clearly. So there are several uses for the bands, and basically, see price at the blue band, it's going up. See price at the red band, 
is going down. But also be smart enough to know, all right, if the market is trending, okay? So it's going to give you signs of that. Remember, in the downtrend, all right, price is going to be in the bottom half of the bands. The middle band is most likely going to be used as an extra layer of resistance. During the uptrend, price is going to be in the top half of the bands, okay? And the middle band is going to serve as a support. So be smart enough to know when the currency pair is trending. The, the Basically, the simple scalper strategy that I'm showing you right here works best in a consolidating market where you can literally play ping pong, press buys and sells at the same time because when you trade Forex options, better known as binary options, you could do it that way. All right. It's designed to, you know, basically make it easy for you to get in and get out with the bag. Now, let's move on over to the next indicator I want to talk about. And that next indicator is the 200 EMA. Now, the 200 EMA serves two purposes here, okay? It serves two purposes here. Number one, okay, it could serve the purpose of a, of a backup trend line, all right? So, for example, we see that it's serving the purpose of a downtrend line for the most part. Look at this right here. Right now, this also serves as a signal provider. So let me show you in case of an uptrend, which is literally right here. Okay, now during an uptrend, you can see how it acts as an uptrend line as well at certain points. So this can serve as a backup trend line, but it can also serve as a potential signal provider. So let me give you an example here when price crosses down. Okay, maybe we get a clear picture here. When price crosses down to 200 EMA, you can take that as a confirmation for a sell. Okay, you can take that as a confirmation for a sell. When price crosses down to 200 EMA. Now, when price crosses up to 200 EMA, Okay, when price crosses up to 200 EMA, you can take that as a buy. You can take that as a confirmation for a buy. All right, so it serves a dual purpose. It can serve as a backup trend line. It can also serve the purpose of a potential signal provider. Next indicator that we're going to cover is the parabolic SAR, parabolic stop and resist. Okay. So basically, these dots, all right, serve the purpose of miniature, really, really, really tiny trend lines, right? Whenever you see price, okay, below the dots, right? So you see the dots above it and price is below it, okay? You're going to see that when the dots are above, it's indicating the market is moving down. When the dots are below price, so let's look at it during an uptrend, okay? When, when the dots are below the price and price is above the dots, okay? Price meaning candles, showing you all the prices, all right? The buy and close prices on each of these candles, okay? When price is above the dots, it is indicating an up move. You see that? So the way I want you to look at the parabolic, dots is mini miniature trend lines basically all right they're mini broken trend lines they're dotted right but it's serving the purpose does price need to actually touch these dots all right for it to you know be a confirmation that it's moving in any direction no it doesn't so if the so if the dots are below price it's indicating an up move it doesn't matter if the candles are actually touching the dot that doesn't matter okay as long as you see the dots above or below price. So the dots are below price is indicating an up move. If the dots are above price, okay, is indicating a down move. Now, volume bars are basically showing us bullish and bearish momentum. Bullish meaning up, bearish meaning down, okay? And the size of the bar, the bigger it is, the more momentum it actually has, all right? So I use these as confirmations, kind of like of a last confirmation out of all the indicators on the top. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click the background here, and we're going to talk about the stochastic and the RSI. 
So the, sto the stochastic and the RSI, let's cover this really quickly, okay? The, the stochastic and the RSI are gonna show us, okay, when price is overbought or when price is oversold, okay? When price is overbought and when price is oversold. So I'm just gonna draw just a couple of rectangles here and I'm gonna explain why I'm doing this. Cause I want you to easily identify when price is overbought and when price is oversold. Okay, that's good enough. So here's the bottom line. When price is above the top line, the indicator is indicating that price is overbought, which means it is just a matter of time before price ends up coming down. It's supply and demand at the end of the day, guys. Supply and demand at the end of the day. Buy when it's slow, sell when it's high. That's the name of the game, right? So when price is above the top line, it's indicating it is overbought. So it's only a matter of time before it drops. Now, when price is in the bottom, all right, you see on the RSI too, when price is in the bottom line, all right, underneath the bottom line, it is indicating price is oversold. It's oversold, okay? So what happens is price is going to end up coming back up, all right? to shoot up, supply and demand at the end of the day. Supply and demand at the end of the day. Buy when it's low, sell when it's high. Now, here's the issue, okay? Here's the issue with most traders that are using these indicators, all right? These two indicators right here, the stochastic on the R side. They get a little impatient. So when price is overbought, they rush it for a sell. But notice how price keeps coming up. Right? So if you got into a buy immediately right here when price was coming up, you didn't let the bullish momentum die down. You didn't wait for signs of reversal to get into the sell. You just basically got in. What I want you to do instead, if you're looking for a sell, is to wait until price crosses down the red line. That's a confirmation. That's a trigger for a potential sell. All right? And what most amateurs do as well is when price is below the bottom line, they rush into a buy. But notice how this kept going down, okay? You have to wait until the momentum dies down and it starts reversing. So what I want you to do if you're looking for a buy is wait until price crosses up the blue line. This is why we have a blue and red line there. This is exactly why we have a blue and red line there. This is to show you for you to wait until it triggers. That way you're trading this like a pro, okay? And not like you don't know. Okay, so listen, when price is overbought, wait for it to cross down the red line before you take it for a sell. When price is oversold, wait for it to cross up the blue line before you take it as a confirmation for a buy. Same with the RSI. Okay, now I have different settings, all right, on the RSI and the stochastic, all right, so you should be covered. Now, let us identify, let me double click this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a vertical line and we are going to identify some good setups for buys and sells. So right here, Let's use this. We're going to make this black and we're going to make it a little thicker and we're going to make this dotted. Okay. So remember, okay, what we're looking for when it comes to a buy. As a matter of fact, let me write down these rules and you can actually, you know, snapshot this if you like. Okay. So confirmations for a buy. So this is what we're looking for. All right, price at around 
or piercing blue Bolger band. Blue volume bar. Price at support. Price at blue uptrend line. I didn't even do my SRT support resistance trend lines, but this system is so good you wouldn't even need that. Okay. What else do we have here? Price cross up blue stochastic line. Price cross up blue RSI line. Price above parabolic dots. I'm not sure if I'm missing something. Probably am. Okay, yeah. Price crossing up 200 EMA, which is the purple line. Price touching EMA acting as uptrend line. Remember, there's dual purposes for the for the EMA, right? So now let me just uh, put a background on this. Nice solid blue background with some white text. All right, so that way it stands out, give it some contrast. So this is basically what we're looking for for buy. Okay. Look at this here. Take a snapshot if you like. All right, I'm just gonna pause this for like a good five seconds. Take a snapshot, if you will like, for your study purposes. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through this checklist together. Actually, let me add something on here. All we need, okay, is three or more confirmations, right? Preferably four. Okay, so we're looking for just three confirmations for a buy, but, but to take it at a pro level, I would recommend four or more confirmations, right? So let's go down the checklist. If you, if you wish to snapshot that, let me give you five seconds for that. Okay, so let's go through this checklist together. So to look properly for a buy, okay, let's go, let's go down this list. So do we see price at, around, or piercing the blue Bolger band? The answer is yes, right over here. We see that right here. So that is one, okay, that is one. Secondly, do we see a blue volume bar? Yes, we do. It's aligned, all right, with a blue volume bar, okay? Maybe I should write that down. Instead of just plain old blue volume bar. Aligned with blue volume bar. There we go. All right, that's a little better. Okay. Price at support. I didn't do SRTs, so I didn't draw support resistance trend lines. Okay. Price at blue uptrend line. All right, I didn't do SRT, so let's skip that. Price cross up the blue stochastic line. So let's see if we got a cross up on the blue stochastic line. The answer is yes. All right, so we got a cross up the blue line on the stochastic. Did we get a cross up the blue line on the RSI line? Yes, we did. Uh, cross up the blue RSI line. We got that. So one confirmation, two confirmations, blue bar. Three confirmations, price, all right, at or around or piercing blue Bolger band, yes, four confirmations. So without even any SRTs drawn out,
we could have took that very, very simple trade and we would have profited. So look, that was real clear. What I'm going to do, because this example is so damn good, I'm going to snapshot this myself. So if you're using a Mac, you can just simply hold shift and command and press four. And then you see this little crosshair. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're just simply going to drag it and it's going to take the picture for you. Okay, so that was command, shift, and the number four on your MacBook if you're using Mac. All right, that was a really solid example right there for buy. So look how it beautifully lines up together. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look out for a nice sell. So let's look out for some examples for a nice sell. Up, oh, what do you know? I see some right there. All right, so now here's what I'm going to do. Going to make this red, and basically, I'm just going to reverse, reverse this whole thing here. Basically the exact opposite for a cell. Okay, so basically the exact opposite for a cell. So let me use this to uh, cover this up here. <laughs> Hold on, let me make this a little thicker. Okay, perfect. All right, so now the now the blue one is covered, right? <laughs> All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out. We're gonna take out. All right, we're gonna take out this vertical line here, and let's see how this all aligns. So number one, okay, is price at around or piercing red bulger band yes right here yes it is aligned with red volume bar yes it is that's two confirmations already price at resistance price at red downtrend line hold on let me fix this okay price at resistance no because i didn't draw any srts price at red downtrend line no, I didn't draw my SRTs, support resistance trend lines. All right, price cross down red stochastic line. Let's just check this. Let's check this. Did we get it here? Yes, price cross down, okay, the red line on the stochastic, okay? Price cross down red RSI line. Did it cross down the red RSI line? No. It touched it, but then it crossed down, all right? So I'm not going to consider that. Okay, price below parabolic dot. Okay, there's a parabolic dot right here, so no. Um, price crossing down the 200 EMA. Yes, we did. See how price crossed down the 200 EMA? Remember what I said, all right? The EMA acts has two roles. It acts as a backup trend line. It also acts as a potential signal provider. So when price crossed down the 200 EMA, you could take that as a confirmation for a sell. So we have four confirmations here. What are they? Let's go through them. One, red Bolger band. Okay. Two, cross down the 200 EMA. Three, red volume bar. Four, price cross down the red stochastic line. So with that said, this is basically what you're looking for. Okay. As a good example. All right, for sell. Let me bring this just a little bit closer. All 
All right, so that way we can make this snapshotable. I think that looks pretty solid. I'm going to snapshot it myself. Looks like a pretty good example. All right. So basically, we're, these are the conf, this is the confirmation list for a cell. All we're looking for is for three confirmations, but we prefer four or more. All right. If you want to train like a pro. And notice, if I had drawn out my SRTs, we would have had five or more confirmations. But with this strategy, you wouldn't even need to do all the extra mumbo jumbo. We keep it simple, hence its name, all right, that I gave it, the simple scalper, okay? All right, now let me double click this and let's do, Let's do one of these things right here. So that way you have all the rules together. Okay, and on the scanner, we got a lot more ground to cover, guys. So if you didn't come over here ready to learn, woof, better start loving loving to learn, guys, because I only cover I only covered a simple scalper scanner. I still got to go through the other scanners, okay? So on the simple scalper scanner, all right, you are going to get the sniper icon, all right? So if you see the blue sniper, if you see the blue all right, scope icon, that's basically an automated signal for a buy. If you get the red scope, it is a confirmation for a sell. All right, everything cool. Let's bring this down in case you want to snapshot it. Save it to your notes. This is what we're looking for. All right, there we go. Take a snapshot. This is what we're looking for. That looks pretty good. I'm going to snapshot this myself. <laughs> it's basically the quote of the day. Okay, now let's go. Let's get on to the next, and let's go through the pickpocket. Now the other strategies are a lot easier, believe it or not. So I'm going to show you how to adjust these settings, and there's basically three rules to follow for buy and a sell. So. First, we're gonna adjust these settings. So you see this line that turns from green to red or from green to burgundy? We're just gonna double click that. You can change it to whatever colors you want. I just like blue and red, All right? Superman colors, Spider-Man colors. All right, see it looks pretty clean, right? You can take the EMA as well, color it in whatever color that makes sense to you. And you see this tri these triangles here, we're gonna click on those, and here's how we're gonna set it. So the down fractal is gonna be set to arrow up, sorry, arrow up and make sure it's blue. The up fractal is gonna be set to arrow down and make sure it's red. Feel free to snapshot that. I'll give you five seconds. Command shift four if you're on a MacBook. All right, you can do screen lock, you can do all types of stuff. All right. Um, if you want to make matters way easier for you, you could download the Google Chrome extension to do a full page screen capture with the click of a button. You could, you know, snapshot the whole thing. All right. I'm all about helping you just doing things easier, guys. Okay. 
All right. So now there's simply three rules to follow. So let's write this down. Three rules for buy. Okay. Easiest rules of planet Earth. The pickpocket is really the most simple strategy, in my opinion, that I've created. So three rules for buy. Let me make this blue fit with the whole buy theme, right? Price must be above 200 EMA, right? Which is the purple line. Number two, here's the second rule. Price must be above the blue line, okay? We, we, we changed this color um, to make it blue and red instead of green and burgundy, how it was. So if you want to change the blue to green, you could do that, okay? And write the rules out according to how you designed your chart. Last but not least, what we're looking for on a buy is the blue up arrow there's all we're looking for that's it guys the pickpocket is designed for you to get in and out with the bag so here's what we're going to do we're going to take a vertical line once again okay and we're just going to identify all right what coincides with the three rules so number one price must be above the 200 ema so let's see okay from this range and above, price is above the 200 EMA. Second rule, price must be above the blue line. What do you know? Price is above this blue line. See all these candles here? These candles represent prices, okay? Last but not least, do we get our blue up arrow for us to get in? And the answer is yes, all right here. Now we take the measure tool, Okay, and we took it from this wick to this wick. You could do the math. And here's the beauty, guys. When it comes to Forex options, all we need to be is just a micro pip in profit. Do you guys see what I'm saying here? This is crazy. Right? This is crazy. See that? Let's do it again. From right here to right here. Snapshot that. Take a, man, I'm going to snapshot that because it looks pretty good. It's like the third time I set this today. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. Now, whenever you are on the pickpocket scanner, you're actually going to get, all right, a dollar sign icon. So if you see the blue dollar sign icon, that is a signal for a buy. Actually, let me take a snapshot of this one. It looks pretty darn good. All right, take it, bam, there we go. Woo, very simple, right? Price above the 200 EMA, price above the blue line, Basically, price above both the blue lines that we're waiting for the arrow, we're taking it up. We're taking it north. That's it. Okay. Now, three rules for a sell. Okay, I see it right here. This is good. Okay, three rules for a sell. And it's just going to be reverse. Remember, keep it simple. Keep it simple. You notice what I'm doing, right? All I have to do is just highlight some stuff and put the exact opposite in there. Keeping it simple, okay? All right. Now, when you receive a cell signal from the scanner, 
it's going to be a red dollar sign. See that? Cool. Now, let's follow the rules. Number one, is price below the purple line? The answer is yes, it is, right? Number two, price must be below the red line. This line that changes colors, is it below the red line? Yes, it is. Number three, third rule, okay? Do we see a red down arrow? Yes, it is. So guess what? We're gonna take that. Let me just see where the wick is at. I have an idea, okay. Let's say we took it from here. Okay, and we wrote it down to this level right over here, to this wick. Okay, let's take a look at that, all right? All we need to be is a micro pip in profit trading binary. Guys, you could use this for stocks, stocks options, Forex, crypto, binary options, everything. But I created these systems specifically for binary options. These are proven systems that I've developed, that I took time to develop. Trial and error, trial and error, trial and error. Feel free to take a snapshot of this if you like what you see. Let me do this again, okay? Right from here, right to this way, okay? I'm gonna snapshot that because guess what? Because someone typed what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna I'm take a snapshot of this because guess what? It looks pretty darn good, okay? So let's recap. Let us recap. Three rules for buy. Three rules for sell. Here's the icon for the buy. And here's the icon for the sell. Feel free to take a snapshot because, <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm just going to stop saying it because I'm starting to get tired of hearing myself say it, right? <laughs> but I just took a snapshot because it looks pretty darn good. Guys, again, if you don't have a way to have fun while increasing your trading funds, you're not doing it right. All right, so take a snapshot of that. Okay, perfect. All right, and last but not least, we have the web slinger. Last but not least, we have the web slinger. Let me bring this all the way here. Okay. All right, I just have a quick question. Type 777 in the chat if you love what you see so far. And if you are awake with me and you're not sleeping right now, type 777 in the chat. I want to see if you're still with me. Show me a little bit of interaction and we'll do a Q&A after I'll show you the web slinger. Type 777 in the chat right now. Okay, 777 in the chat right now. Okay, that is the web slinger. I didn't know I had it off of the HFFX TV, but let me bring this back. All right, um, 777 in the chat right now. If you're still rocking with me, if you're still awake. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Drop a sexy AF if you like what you see. Sexy AF in the chat if you like what you see. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> All right. I see quite a few, and I am excited about that. Okay. So now we are on the web slinger, and I'm going to show you how to adjust the um, how to adjust the settings for this first. And then we're gonna go through the rules of the strategy and basically what to look out for on the scanner. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. First and foremost, 
we're going to click on the clouds here, right? These use Ichimoku clouds. Now, the Web Slinger, I designed specifically for trending currency pairs. Now, the Simple Scalper is perfect in the consolidating market. Pickpocket works good in no matter what market it's in. Um, but the Web Slinger, all right, is special because it's specifically for trending markets. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the clouds like we already did. And we're going to uncheck the conversion line, the baseline, and the lagging span. Now, I have a bunch of other lines that I've attached together that I like to also refer to as web strings, right? Because it looks like a bunch of web strings, right? And it kind of makes up for that lack of the conversion line, baseline, and lagging span, okay? So on lead over here, see this lead one and lead two, okay? I'm just going to mark this black because really what these are are the outlines for the cloud. So you can make it a little thicker and you can see, okay, right here, all right, that little outline right there. Okay, now the plots background, these are the clouds themselves. So remember, blue and red, Spider-Man colors, right? Superman, Spider-Man colors. All right, so the same way how Spider-Man slings through buildings is the same way how the market, all right, slings through trends, okay? Hence the name Web Slinger, all right, for this specific strategy. Okay, so um, this is actually very, very, very simple. All you need, all right, for the Web Slinger is basically just two confirmations. This is really not hard, right? So two points, that's all you need, okay? So these are some stuff to look out for, but all you need is two, okay? Um, basically, All right, you know what? Let's put this, two points for buy, okay? So, since we're mentioning buys, okay, and get the pullback to the green line to catch in the continuation and also green line crossing up purple line. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this in the chart. Let me mark this as blue over here, all right? Two points for buy. Points for buy to lead. Price above blue cloud. All right, let me fix this, okay? All right, so basically, all right, so here's some points for a buy, all right? And only two are really needed. Only two confirmations is really needed. Okay, so number one, do we see, let's use a vertical line here, okay? Do we see price above the blue cloud? All right, do we see that? Yes, we do. Is price above the web strings? Yes, it is. It's surfing on the top of all these web strings. Did we get a pullback to the green line? So let's look over here. Now, it's shooting up, okay? Did we get a pullback to the green line? Yes, we did. So we could take the buy at the continuation. So it doesn't matter what point, all right? It doesn't matter what point you take the buy. All right, in the continuation, and you can see, all right, how that just scored you way more than a simple than a simple micro pip. All right, way more than a simple micro pip. Remember, when we trade binary, all we need to do is be a micro pip in profit by the time expiration. Okay, 
and look at this. Look at this. This is on a five-minute chart. Okay, so if we would have took the buy when it pulled back to the green line to catch it in the continuation. All right, we definitely would have won that. All right, very simple. Now, when you see a buy signal, all right, when you see a buy signal on the chart. It's gonna be like this little Wi-Fi signal over here, <clears throat> like how, how it is when Spider-Man shoots at you with webs from his wrist, right? So basically, you know, um, I named I named the strategy, all right, based off of Spider-Man. Okay. So this is really the only points that you need to enter a buy. And remember, this is during a trend in market. So it comes up, see, pull back to the green line, take it in the continuation. That is all. That is all. Now, if price gets caught in the webs, and it doesn't just respect the string, but it gets caught in the webs, leave it alone. But if you see it's actually respecting the green line and continuing up, take it up for the continuation. Okay? So these are the points for a buy. So let me do this like this. And, okay, I'm going to take a snapshot. And you know why right because it looks pretty darn good okay so there we go just took a snapshot of that all right so for 40 bars it was north of where it was so remember this works well in a trending market now let us look for good examples of a sell oh look at this over here this is beautiful right here okay good examples for a sell All right, and all I gotta do, once again, to make life easy for myself, is I just have to highlight and put in the reverse. Very simple. Okay, okay, points for buy. And when you see a signal, okay, this signal that's red is basically an automated sell signal. Now, if it aligns with these rules, remember these signals can act as an additional source of confirmations. Now, look over here, all right? Do we did we get price below the red cloud? All right, now over here because it's below the blue cloud, okay? But did we get it over here? Yes, we did. All right, so price is definitely below the red cloud. Is price below the web strings? Yes, it's actually sliding down, all right? Sliding down the bottom of the web strings here. Now, did we get a pullback to the green line? So you know it's going south. Did we get a pullback to the green line over here? No, we did it, and it touched it, right? It could be any of these green lines. So I have a green EMA, and I have a green regular ma right here okay so did we get the touch okay right over here we did we got a touch over here too so let's just say all right now we took we took it right here let's use a vertical line once again we took it into continuation it was respecting this green line saw some signs of reversal took it for the continuation right here okay i'm going to take this and we're going to bring it down here right to that width you see that and all we need to do is be a micro pip in profit so it didn't matter if on the on the on the web on the web slinger basically you'll be good with a position that's more than 10 minutes for the most part because you're capitalizing this on a trending market web slinger is specifically built to trade during a trending market. Okay, you see that? I'm gonna use the same example again. Right here, take it to the wick right here, right? Which is this wick right here that I'm looking at. And guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a snapshot because it looks pretty darn good. Okay, there we go. All right, so as long as 
all right? You have all these rules in play. There's no way that you can't get paid. So let's get these rules all together so that we can take a nice snapshot. Ah, uh, looks too condensed. Let me, uh, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Let's bring it up here so it looks a little nicer, you know, for your snapshots that you may want to send out to your team. Your trading partners. All right, let me just uh, make this pretty for you. All right, so here you go. If you'd like, take a snapshot. Oops, wait. I'm going to have to do that one again. There we go. Points for sell. There we go. All right. Let me do this again. For free to do the same. Okay. So basically, you got all the rules, okay, for the simple scalper along with the icon to look out for. You got the rules for the pickpocket, along with the icon to look out for, and the web slinger. So let's recap. Okay, this is, this is the simple scalper. All we need is three confirmations, but we prefer four. If you're gonna get into a buy or if you're gonna get into a sell, right? There we go, okay. You guys got that? Snapshot? Okay, good. All right, pickpocket. Here's the three rules for a buy, three rules for a sell. Take a couple seconds to snapshot it. All right, and we good just like that. And finally, the web slinger. Here are the points needed. All you need is two to align with each other. All right, just keep in mind the icons to look out for. So buy, sell on the web slinger, buy, sell on pickpocket, buy, sell on simple scalper. Woo, a lot of ground was covered. A lot of ground was covered. So I hope you really got the value on how to effectively use this very, very powerful tool. And there's gonna be so much more secret sauce added to this because when I came together with the programmer, when I came together with the team, I had literally five years worth of stuff in mind. So we're just gonna continue building upon this. Man, I mean, th this is something I'm super excited about. And if you're trading binary, then, uh, then you know what you know what this means. I literally have one of my students, uh, Miss Daniel Estrella. I'm gonna give him another shout out. Um, basically, you know, he's one of my students that I took under my wing. He got started IML. He asked me really calmly. You know, he was like, "Ness, how much money do I need to start with trading binary?" I said, "As much as you could, as long as it doesn't hurt your pockets." And he said, "I got three thousand. Do you think three thousand will be good?" I said, yeah, actually, that would be perfect. Why don't you start with that? So he was serious from the get-go, right? And, and he found the money. He put it together, okay? And, uh, and in his first month, he cleared over 30K, over 30K. You could get the story from the man himself. Over 30K in his first month following me, he didn't know anything about Forex. He didn't know anything about trading, 
But basically, I showed him the strategy. Basically, he tuned on to the sessions. So, you know, the get pay sessions are Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Mondays are the training sessions where you can learn the strategy so you can be able to learn it and earn on your own time, right? So this is more for the independent traders, whereas the Tuesday and Wednesday sessions, people are able to make money with me live, all right? So um, this is some powerful stuff over here, all right? What I'm giving you is so crazy that if you really use this, to its, maxim, to its maximum potential, okay, you can really make a killing in the markets, right? So once again, if you're unfamiliar, if you're unfamiliar with binary trading is actually very simple. There is no stop loss. There is no take profit. It's very simple. Basically, all right, you choose a time expiration, okay? Let's just say I chose one minute. The market, this is the current market price, is gonna move up and down. If you click buy, Okay, as long as the market is above your buy entry, it doesn't matter how, how much is above your buy entry, okay, um, by your time expiration, it'll clear the trade and profit. If you click sell, okay, and the market is below your entry by the time expiration, you win the trade, okay? It's really that simple. So here's an example. Let's just say that I placed a quick sell right here on Euro USD. Okay, as long as the market is below my entry by the time expiration, we're good to go. If not, then guess what? It doesn't clear. So this is the amount of money you're risking. If you lose, this is the money you lose. This is the amount you would win if the trade clears. So you basically make your money back, okay, plus the profit, and that's how it works. Okay, now if you're in a losing position like this, you could click the rollover button and it'll buy you additional time if it's worth holding on to. So for this, it's going up, so it wouldn't be worth for me to hold on to this any longer, but basically you get the drift, all right? As long as price clears in your desired direction by the time expiration, you will win the trade, okay? There's a very simple way to trade. It's not hard, okay? It's easy to understand. It's no stop loss, no take profit. You either win or you lose. That's it. So these strategies are specifically built, all right, for you to utilize to maximize your profit-making potential. So I hope you got a lot of value out of that so far, okay? I hope you got a lot of value out of that so far. So once again, to have access to all these tools, all these scanners, even manual trade alerts, make sure you have access to the high frequency FX membership. So you can do that by upgrading to the elite membership. If you have regular platinum, you can get the upgrade to add high frequency FX to it, or you could be a standalone FX, uh, standalone high frequency FX subscriber, okay? If, if, you're, if you love binary and that is the way that you want to trade, I recommend everyone goes elite, but you have three ways to become a member with High Frequency Forex. I had one of my students contact me today and say, and, and pretty much ask, Ness, is it worth it for me to get the elite membership? Absolutely, because you'll get everything. Guys, there's so many ways for you to get it, so many tools that you can use, all right, for you to get it. Okay, so I hope you got a lot of value out of this. Last but not least, we're going to end it just like this. We're going to end it just like this. If, okay, you are not on the People in Profit Telegram, make sure that you add yourself to it. So this is my Telegram. I give all the IMO TV updates. I give all the important updates. Is the open discussion chat. So get on here. Any questions you got, we'll answer them. Okay, so add yourself right now, all right, to my People in Profit Telegram chat. My username in Wake Up Now is People in Profit, okay? So this is why it's People in Profit official. We got over 5,000 members. Make sure you add yourself in there. You don't need a specific link. Just simply add yourself to it. Add yourself to it, guys, and, um, and definitely ask whatever questions that you want and we'll get we'll get it all answered for you all right so add yourself in here okay and you'll be good to go okay now at this point
let's see here. All right. So at this point here, okay, we can actually go on over to a new incognito window. If you are not, if you are not, for example, if you are not trading binary with us on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but you're excited to do so, okay, you don't have a binary broker for whatever reason, it's very simple. Go search on Google, go search for binary brokers. There are binary brokers everywhere. Um, you know, all types of binary brokers, there's thousands out there. The easiest way would just simply be going to binarysetup.com. So if everyone here could do me the solid and just simply type binarysetup.com in the chat, binarysetup.com in the chat, we can help a lot of new people, okay, get their stuff started so that way they can trade to get paid with us on Tuesdays and Wednesdays on top of the bonus Zoom sessions we put out on our Telegram. So binarysetup.com, it's very simple. All you have to do, okay, is simply come in here. First name, right here. Surname is your last name. Fill out the rest, the rest of the registration form. And this is the only form that I care about you filling out. Just register for now. Get yourself verified. And when it's time for you to fund, I recommend using Bitcoin. Okay? Bitcoin is fast. So if you already have a Bitcoin wallet, that is all great. That is all good and dandy. If you already have a Bitcoin wallet, because the process is going to be a lot faster. Now, if you are in the United States and for some reason you do not have a Bitcoin wallet, here's the easiest way. Download the Cash app to your phone and you will have automatically a Bitcoin wallet in there. All you have to do is load up your Cash app with some cash, transfer it to your virtual Bitcoin wallet that you already have inside of your cash app. Very simple. Then you will be able to transfer funds from your cash app over to the broker that you're registering for right now. So binarysetup.com, register, fund with Bitcoin. If you're in the U.S., do it through cash app. If you are not in the U.S., I recommend that you do it through Transcript, which is a Bitcoin exchange. Transcript, like crypto transcript.eu okay if you are outside the united states this is the easiest way you could use other ones uh, uh like binance there's so many other ones if you go through coinbase they're gonna make you you know they're gonna make you wait like so many days so just do it this way right sign in very simple okay here's the easiest way to do it you're gonna go on over to operations very simple all right, start an account. You're going to go through operations. You're going to purchase Bitcoin by credit card. Once you purchase the Bitcoin by credit card, you're going to click account withdrawal on cryptocurrency. Whatever is in your available Bitcoin balance, you're just going to copy and paste that here. And the wallet address, you're going to basically put the wallet address your broker gives you right over here and click submit. It'll take maybe like 30 minutes to an hour, maybe two hours at max for the funds to transfer over to your broker. But once it's there, you are ready to trade and get paid. All right. So with that said, I hope everyone got some value. Once again, add yourself, add yourself to the people in profit official telegram, add yourself now. All right. So that way you get all the knowledge, that way you get all the wisdom and that way you can get your questions answered. With that said, everyone, stay blessed, take care. Remember, binarysetup.com, register fun, and let's have some fun trading on Tuesday, all right, tomorrow night and Wednesday night. Stay blessed, take care. I'll see you at the top, if not one of the beaches of the world.